shop, repair boom here. Uh, my name's Alan, I'm a table leader. Table three right here. All right, let's do what you do here. Walk you through what's going on. A lot of times you have rips and stuff in the cleats, unnecessary stuff like this. This has to be pulled tight right here. We're gonna punch holes, zip tie that. We're gonna take slack out of the chains because whenever we uh, we get cleats, they're always ripped right here. So what we do is we pull the cable tight pull the chain tight, put a little bow right here. That way whenever it's pulled on either side, it's not pulling on the vinyl. When it comes from the manufacturer, everything's all the same length and it ends up getting stretched out in the rip. We go along, we check for holes. Uh, I don't really see any holes right now. Anytime there's a hole in here, it has to be patched, welded. We use heat guns. They're running about 5,000, uh, 500 degrees Celsius. A lot of times we got to pull the chain. A lot of times the booms don't have a chain. We'll have to pull the chain through. Here's an example of an unacceptable cable. Sprayed at the ends could cause holes. Um, what we do here is we grind this off, cut that off on the end. We have some uh, sleeves that we use ourselves. We put them on there and crimp them back down. This particular cleat does not have a pin on it. We put the pins back on. If the chains do not have a ring, a D-ring, we always put an extra shackle on it. And when they pull the ropes through there, they don't have to pull it through there. They have an extra uh, shackle. Keep track of everything on a sheet. Everything has a batch number, a piece number, and a state labeling where it's from, or a piece of uh, colored zip tie identifying what state it's from. This is from Alabama. You can tell by the color of the zip tie. Black is Alabama. Uh, blue, green, and yellow is uh, Mississippi. White and clear is Florida. When we repair the cleats, this piece already has one in it, but a lot of times what we'll have to do is we'll have to get some extra vinyl, get a piece of rope, put stretch that rope out, fold the vinyl over, and weld it down that way. You see this real quick? That way, right here, that rope acts as a stopper. What we're gonna have to do. See this piece of boom right here? See how it's cut in half? We cut it, cut that off, take that out, use the extra slack to put it back on, versus just scrapping a whole section. Hey, Aaron, tell us what's going on. The guy here, he's going to uh, use a heat gun to patch a hole in this boom together. Go all the way. He's going to start like he is there now from the center, work his way around, and totally seal it off from the outside. Watertight. 